Hello and welcome back to Legally Bound, the channel where we dive into the world of real estate and business law. I'm Faisal Mogul and today we're tackling a tricky topic, getting rid of squatters. Before we get started, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. We love hearing from you, so drop your thoughts or any questions in the comments section below. Let's jump right in. Before we get into the details, what exactly is squatting? Squatting is when someone unlawfully occupies an uninhabited dwelling or unused land. Squatting is when someone lives on the property they don't own or rent. It's different from trespassing, which is usually a short-term intrusion. Squatters sometimes claim rights to the property, making this a complex issue. As a property owner, you have rights. It is important to know these rights, which can vary depending on your state or local laws. The key here is understanding your legal standing and dealing with squatters correctly. Let's explore some common instances where landlords will need to respond to squatters. Our first example. Squatters in an abandoned property. Here, the landlord must first issue a formal eviction notice even though the squatters are not legal tenants. If they don't leave, the landlord can file an unlawful detainer lawsuit. In our second example, squatters are claiming adverse possession, trying to gain legal ownership after living there for years. The landlord needs to prove in court that the squatters haven't met all the adverse possession requirements, which typically include continuous open occupation for a specific period. Our third example involves squatters in a vacation home. Here the landlord should first verify that the squatters don't have a lease agreement. Then, like the first example, they must issue an eviction notice followed by legal action if the squatters don't comply. In all these cases, the legal eviction process involves serving notice, filing a lawsuit, and possibly involving law enforcement for the removal of the squatters. Remember, self-help measures like changing locks or shutting off utilities can lead to legal problems for you, the landlord. Involving the police can be necessary, especially if you're dealing with criminal trespass. However, remember that squatting often falls into a civil matter, so law enforcement's role might be limited. Now let's talk about squatters' rights. Yes, in some cases, squatters can claim rights to a property through a legal concept known as adverse possession. But this is rare and has specific legal requirements. Adverse possession is a principle under which a person who does not legally own a piece of property can come to own it over time. This doesn't happen overnight. There are specific legal requirements that must be met. For a squatter to claim adverse possession, their occupation of the property must be First, hostile. This doesn't mean aggressive or violent. In legal terms, hostile means the squatter is occupying the land without the owner's permission. Number two, actual. The squatter must physically be present on the property, using it as a property owner would. Number three, open and notorious. The occupation can't be hidden. It must be obvious enough that the owner could notice if they checked on the property. Number four, exclusive and continuous. The squatter must possess the property exclusively without sharing control with others, including the owner. And this must be continuous for a period specified by state law, often several years. Under claim of right, number five, the squatter must possess the property under a claim of right, meaning that they are occupying the property as if they have a right to own it. It's important to note that the specifics of adverse possession laws vary from state to state. For example, in some states, the required period of continuous possession must be five years. In others, it could be up to 20 years. While cases of squatters gaining property through adverse possession are rare, they do happen. Prevention is better than cure, right? Regular inspections and securing your property can go a long way in preventing squatting. If you own a vacant property, consider hiring a property management company. This is where firms like Fox and Mogul can come in. Consulting with a real estate attorney can help navigate these complex situations and ensure that you're taking the right steps. Have you ever dealt with squatters? Share your experiences in the comments section below. Your stories could help others facing similar situations. To wrap up, folks, dealing with squatters can be challenging but understanding your rights and the legal processes makes it manageable. Remember, professional legal advice is key. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content on real estate and business law. I'm Faisal Mogul from Fox & Mogul, and this is Legally Bound. See you all in the next video.